Hi Reception, maths time. We are going to start a new topic in maths today. We are going to be looking at this. Does anybody know what this is? It's money. Money. This is what we use to buy things. Does anybody know what money this is? How much this is worth? How much is this worth? What number can you see there? That's a little clue. What number can you see? The number one. This is one penny. One penny. Can you show me one finger? One penny. So we're going to start by reading a little story and then we're going to come to reception's pet shop and see if we can do some buying. And that will all link in with our story because our story is called The Great Pet Sale. Oh, I can already see quite a lot of animals. I can see a little rat. I can see a little gecko. I can see a little penguin or a puffin. Shall we see what happens in our story? The Great Pet Sale by Mick Inkpen. Everything must go, said the sign on the pet shop window. In the window was a rat. I looked at him. Half of his whiskers were missing. I'm a bargain, called the rat through the glass. I'm only one P. Choose me. There's the little rat with his one P sign on him. Can you see? One P, he costs one penny. That's how much the rat costs. Inside the shop, there was a tiny terrapin for two pence, a turtle for three pence, and a tortoise, a great big one, for four pence. Tortoise, one, two, three, four pence for a tortoise. Four of our pennies. Excellent, there he is. I'm sure you wouldn't want one of those, but you would like me. You really would. There's the mouse again, the rat again. Things beginning with p, 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 five p each. On the perch were things beginning with p, a pelican, a puffin, a penguin, and a parrot, and a platypus, all five pennies each. One, two, three, four, five pennies. Five pennies, and you could have any one of those. Oh, you don't want anything beginning with p, 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 said the rat. Er, er is what you want. Er for ratty. Behind a plastic rock was a salamander for six pennies, a skint for seven pennies, and a gecko for eight pennies. Which one is which, I said. Nobody knows, nobody cares, said the rat. Sausages on legs, you don't want one of those. Mm, rat doesn't want him to get them, does he? There they are. I think Rat wants him to buy him. The next two animals were nine pennies the pair. You can get both of those for nine pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine pennies for a koala and an anteater. Who wants a koala that doesn't eat leaves, said the rat, or an anteater that doesn't eat ants? I'm not fussy. I'll eat anything. There's the rat. He's only, look, he's eating his, he's eating his price tag. How much was the rat? One penny. You're right. Well done. Mm. In the cardboard box were assorted little ground creatures, Ten pence the lot. Boring, 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 said the rat. I'm not boring. Look, I can stand on one leg. And it did. So you could spend ten pennies for all of those. At the back of the shop, we came to a big door. What's in there, I said. Oh, just a dragon, said the rat. There's no such thing, I said. Well, then you wouldn't want one, will you, said the rat. I opened the door and it was a dragon, a great big Komodo dragon for 25 pennies. Mm, look, there's the rat. At last the rat was quiet. You're not going to choose me, are you? Shh, I said, I've made up my mind. There's the Komodo dragon. I counted my money. 
One pound exactly. It was enough to buy the rat and everything else in the shop. Oh, I liked that story. The rat really wanted to be bought, didn't he? He only cost one penny. Shall we have a look to see if we can figure out how much some of our creatures cost? Let's see. Let's get our tortoise and our terrapin. How much is the tortoise? Four pennies. One, two, three, four. Four pence for the tortoise and the terrapin is two pence. One, two. Shall we find out how much they cost all together? So we want to know how much the tortoise and the terrapin cost all together. The tortoise is 4p. Can you hold the number four in your head? Hold it in there, four. And the terrapin is 2p. So let's hold four in our head and count on two. Four, five, six. One, two, yeah. Four, five, six. The tortoise and the terrapin cost six pence all together. One, two, three, four, five, six pence. And you could have a tortoise and a terrapin. Let's have another go. Let's pop them back in the pet shop and have another go. Let's see the turtle and the rat. How much is the turtle? Can you see what number it says there? What number is that? Three, three pence. One, two, three, three pence for the turtle. How much is the rat? One pence, one penny. So if I hold three in my head for my turtle, how many do I need to count on to find out how much they cost altogether? Three, four, four, three. Add one is four. One, two, oh, wrong way around. One, two, three, four. Four P for the rat and the turtle. Let's have another go. Let's choose, I'm going to choose a parrot. And my parrot is five pence. One, two, three, four, five. My parrot is five pence and I would like the, hmm, I'm going to choose the salamander. The salamander is six pence. So I'm going to hold six in my head because it's the bigger number and it's easier. I'm going to hold six in my head and count on five. Are you ready? Six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven pence for the salamander and the parrot. Oh, somebody fell down. Oh, it was the rat. He'll be very sad. He just wanted to be bought, didn't he? Right. So we've had a go at finding out how much two of our animals cost. Shall we see if we can find out how much money we'd have left if we bought one? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my pennies up on the board and then we're going to have a little go at doing some maths to try and figure out how much we have left after we've bought some. We're going to use our pennies that we've been practicing. Is that the rat again? This rat's going to get very sad, isn't he? We're going to take them all down now anyway. But that poor little rat. Okay, so the Komodo dragon's coming down. Koala and Antita. Tortoise, terrapin, assorted brown creatures, turtle, platypus, parrot, puffin, pelican, penguin, and the salamander, skink, and gecko. And I'm going to pop my money up on the board. My pennies, 1p, count with me, 1p, 2p, 3p, 4p, 5p, 6p, 
7P, 8P, 9P and 10P. 10 pennies. I've got 10 pennies to spend in the pet shop. What shall I buy today? I think I might buy the tortoise. How much does the tortoise cost? How much does the tortoise cost? What number can you see there? Four. Four P. The tortoise costs four P. So if I went into the shop and said, hello, Mr. Shopkeeper, please can I buy your tortoise? And they said, yes, of course you can, Mrs. Lackley. That's four P. How many of these coins would I have to give the shopkeeper? It costs four P and each one is worth one P, but it costs four I would need four of them. One, two, three, four. I will give my four P to the shopkeeper. How much money do I have left? How many pence do I have left? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six P left. I could buy something else. I'm going to buy the mm, parrot, the parrot. My parrot is 5p, so I'm gonna put him there next to the tortoise. 5p, how many of my one pennies do I need to give to the shopkeeper? Five, good job. One, two, three, four, five. How much money do I have left? One penny. Does anybody, can anybody remember what I can buy for one penny? What can I buy for one penny? Can I buy the turtle? He costs three pennies. Do I have enough for him? No, okay. Oh, what about the assorted brown creatures? They look fun. Do I have enough for them? No, they're 10 pennies. I only have one penny. I know what I can buy for one penny. I can buy the rat. So if I put the rat here and give the shopkeeper my one penny, I have no money left, but I have bought a tortoise, a parrot and a rat. I wonder if you can have a go with your grown-ups. See if you can find 10 one pennies from your grown-up or draw them. Draw them, a little brown circle, 10 one pennies, and you can have a go at playing shops with anything you've got. Anything you've got, it doesn't have to be the animals from the great pet shop, it could be your cars, it could be your soft toys, it could be your dolls, it could be your Barbies, it could be your superheroes, anything you've got. Give them all a price tag like our creatures, so how much are they gonna cost? Your grown up could do it if you, they wanted. We're gonna keep it under 10p. So everything's gonna cost less than 10p or 10p at the most. So this one's 10p. Turtles, 3p, so you can make yourself little price tags. 4p, 1p for the rat. I hope somebody buys the rat. 2p for the terrapin. 5p for the p -p -p animals. The koala and the anteater were 9p the pair. Oh, the Komodo dragon was a bit expensive. We might introduce him later in the week because he was 25 pence. If you wanted to introduce him as a challenge or something very special to you as a challenge for more money, you can. And I would like you to have a go at playing shops with your grown-ups. So take it in turns. One of you can be the shopkeeper. One of you can be the person coming in with your pennies to buy things. What are you going to buy? How much does it cost? Can you count out the money to give to the shopkeeper? How much money do you have left? I can't wait to see what you sell in your shop and how you get on working with your money. So have fun, go on a penny hunt and have a go at having your own shop. Enjoy reception and I will see you later. Bye.